Imagine this. The year is 1998. MP3 players and Google were just invented. We had no Facebook, no iPhone, and just four years earlier, people were still trying to figure out what is internet? What do you write to it? Like mail? No, a lot of people use it and communicate with, I guess they can communicate with NBC writers and producers. Allison, can you explain what internet is? Some of you remember those days. Lots of you have no clue what I'm talking about. But regardless, 1998 was the last time that Congress passed any law to protect kids online. Until today. The Senate just overwhelmingly passed a pair of bills that they have literally been working on for years called the Kids Online Safety Act, also known as COSA, and an updated version of that 1998 law called the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act 2.0, or COPA 2.0. The bills passed with a vote of 91 to 3. So before I tell you all about each of these bills, I want to thank my subscribers for voting for this story as the bonus this week. If you want to vote too, make sure you subscribe to my page during my next live event, or you can follow these steps and you can subscribe right now. Okay, let's first talk about the Kids Online Safety Act. This is a bipartisan bill that would require social media platforms, gaming sites, and other online platforms to provide minors with options to protect their information, disable addictive product features, and opt out of any kind of personalized algorithmic recommendation. That would require social platforms to enable the strongest privacy settings for kids by default. The bill gives parents new controls to help protect their kids and spot harmful behaviors, providing parents and educators with a dedicated channel to report harmful behavior to the platform. The bill creates a duty of care, making online platforms responsible to prevent and mitigate specific dangers to minors online. For example, promoting content that discusses harmful behaviors, bullying, violence, and pushes ads for tobacco and alcohol. Lastly, the bill requires annual independent audits and research into how these platforms impact the well-being of kids and teenagers. The bill does not give the government or state's attorneys general the power to dictate what kinds of content young viewers see, and they cannot enforce the duty of care provision. It does not censor, block, or remove content from the internet. This bill also does not amend, change, or eliminate Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, which provides immunity to online platforms for the third-party content it hosts on its platforms. Those who oppose the bill say this law will stifle the First Amendment. The other piece of legislation is an update to the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. They're calling COPA 2.0. The original COPA, as I said, was passed in 1998 and took effect in the year 2000. This 2.0 version would ban online companies from collecting personal information from users between the age of 13 and 16 without their consent and bans targeted advertising to children and teenagers and it creates what they're calling an eraser button for parents and kids to eliminate their personal information online. Now that these bills have passed the Senate, the question is, will they pass the House? It's definitely possible that because of this overwhelming bipartisan support from the Senate, it will force Speaker Johnson to at least take the bills up in the House. But of course, the House could always change things.